everyone, this is Mika. Uh, I had question to try to remake a similar test uh, with dynamic range as I did my D850 with uh, Canon 5D Mark IV and see how that works with same settings. I have a little bit play around and here is uh, six stops under exposed red uh, photo taken by Karo Holmberg who gave this me who is part of a uh, low deck team if you don't know what is it it's this awesome tool for Lightroom usage go check loadpeddeck.com anyhow mm, I started uh, testing with this ISO 100 uh, six step under and this have been taken with 200 millimeter lens so I think it have been 70 to 200 not sure but that's my wild quest and I reset this and start raising exposure and as we can see that there is no visible text uh, dispense, but when I raise exposure, those come out too, so pretty well can handle even this black text, which is uh, pretty much total black, and pretty well Canon can handle those uh, with six steps under exposure. And I'm not able to crank up exposure more in here in Lightroom, so I drop shadows, uh, highlights and crank shadows a little bit up. And here is something what I've realized with this. This might be because of lens, or it might be because Canon, I don't know, but anyhow, there start to come these uh, cross lines when I rise up to shadows. So. I leave those down, I try to rise with white and yeah, as we can see, it can handle pretty, pretty well that way this uh, six tops below uh, correct exposure, sorry mm. and yeah, there we can see the, these small lines, but I would say that pretty well can Canon also handle this dynamic range and there is not bad looking noise it's pretty mm, good looking noise I don't I don't feel any bad to look this photo so I could say that with ISO 100 six stops under exposure Canon can do it also uh, there is some purple fringe over here. I think it's going from this pen. And here is five stops under exposure. And this should be go better. Can crank exposure up. Let's try shadows. Yeah. Okay, here is also this uh, some sort of lining. So we leave the shadows off and try to crank whites up and this should be much better looking than last time so let's zoom and yeah <coughs> this is pretty usable file uh, easily five steps below correct exposure so in my opinion, uh, I don't see any reason why Canon should be shame, because this is pretty good done. Okay, let's try. He gave me also another ISO level. Let's take uh, 1600. And this is correct exposure. Uh, let's go five stops below. Mm. 
crank some exposure. Okay, okay here is some <coughs> purple coming pretty fast with ISO 1600. And I don't really much like that purple thing. It's annoying at my eye, but basically if we think this photo by usable valve, uh, can we use this photo? If we crank white a little bit, damp it. So can we use this? I wouldn't like to use because I don't like this proper fringe, but if we turn it black and white we could easily use this. This grain is pretty mm, soft and it doesn't make me feel like I would go puke. So yeah. But color version I wouldn't like to use this purple makes me feel bad. Can we drop it down? Yeah well that way we can get rid of it, but if there is purple light background or something that would go also. So I wouldn't suggest to do that. And there was also <coughs> four stops below. Let's try that. How we handle with uh, ISO 1600. Uh, drop highlights and shadows. Okay, now we can... This is weird, because <coughs> ISO 100, when I rise up shadow, there was this lines coming, but in ISO 1600, those are not so visible. There is some line, but not so visible. So, I don't know where it's coming from. Is it from lens? Don't know. But Okay, 1000, uh, 1600 ISO with four stops below uh, correct lighting works fine. No reason why I wouldn't use this sharp Nice looking crane. No, not bad at all. And let's try. There was 3200 also ISO. And here is correct exposure. Let's check. Okay, there's an <laughs> almost none crane with correct exposure. This is awesome. Hmm, pretty nice. Okay, let's try five stops below, uh, correct exposure, so crank it five stops up, and it's purple, so let's go plus three, and try that, let's drop highlight a little bit, bring shadows, okay, it's going purple, so I drop that, and try to put in whites, put blacks down, can we increase exposure, Let's take that. <coughs> okay, I, as I said, I don't like this purple uh, color. So I try to drop it off. It's giving the pretty purple back here. So can we, no, can, uh, can we bring white, no? How about, no? Okay, I would say that ISO 3000 200 black and white works but not color version because well it depends person i don't like that purple with uh, color crane so if you like you can use it. but i don't so let's try four stops below project yeah four stops below expo uh, correct exposure so plus four plus four what I say, raw, raw. Okay, and highlights down, a little bit shadows up, a little bit white. And yeah, there is some purple thing. Don't know where it's coming from. But yeah, this purple is looking bad. Let's check the close one. Basically, this grain looks pretty. <coughs> Uh, cool. It's not ugly bad crane, as I would think when I'm thinking crane uh, usually. And uh, this is pretty nice looking crane. So 
not bad at all. Let's see, let's cr remove chromical operation and let's vignetting. <coughs> let's try to print, uh, drop blacks a little bit. And if we crank up exposure. Yeah, yeah this is <coughs> 50, 60 would I use this text. This is looking a bit bad. I think it might be uh, of focus. That's it. Yeah, it's out of focus a little bit, so that's why it's so bad looking. <coughs> but I think this plus three should, uh, minus three should be going there already. So let's drop highlights, shadows. Yeah, yeah, I can say already that this is usable. <coughs> data so minus three stops with ISO 3200 use a plus stuff uh, what I could say <coughs> end of conclusion with this that Canon can handle pretty darn well also dynamic dynamic range with uh, shadows and highlights so not bad DSLR at all. Would I go 5D Mark IV or Nikon D810, D50? Mm, I don't see no reason why I wouldn't go. Only thing is that I have my all classes for Nikon, so that's why I wouldn't go Canon. But yeah, I could take this camera. This is looking good at my mind, and dynamic range is pretty nice, so. No reason why I shouldn't. And in conclusion, when we are shooting photos, don't take four stops below correct lighting. That's stupid. That's uh, rare cases where you need that much uh, exposure correction. Even pure sunlight might take some three stops over exposure. So if you take Exposure to, to the sun and shoot there is land. It might be something like what I say three, almost four stops. But that's our, those are cases where we have to figure out also other waves, ways. And basically, <coughs> I was just going to go outside. So let's see if I have already import my new files here here and at the same time I can show few other things uh, first thing is that <coughs> bring uh, opening shadows in shadow at our area when I have taken photo to the sun and here is first photo and this is uh, those rare cases, what I say, I have taken exposure by sun and my foreground is totally black. <coughs> so if I crank up shadows, what happened? So we can find some trees. If I rise up exposure, drop down hard no, highlights, let's see. Yeah, we can see details pretty well. Actually, I <laughs> satisfy how well. And I don't see that purple thing, which is good because I don't like it still. So these are the rare, rare cases where you might need this huge dynamic range. But we have also uh, ways to go around those, example, multiple uh, bracketing taking multiple exposure and combining those to high dynamic range photo that's one way or just do couple of photos uh, perfect foreground lighting perfect sky light lighting and match those to together to photoshop so <coughs> there are ways to go around this dynamic range range error or needing dynamic range but if you really need to shoot one shot and that's all you get, you have no time to 
take uh, bracketing salt or something like that, then take it. I think these days DSLR can handle all this pretty well, uh, at least those what have been released inside couple of couple of years. Uh, and yeah, I hope you like this video. Hit like, share, subscribe, leave a comment. What do you think about this? Should I be talking some more about something? And yeah, that's for all. Thanks, take care, bye. Yeah.